In this video, I would like to talk about render modes. It is one of the core part of anywhere element or pros template system. It is the first thing that you have to configure whenever you create a new template and defines how that template will be used and where it will be applied. So let me show you all the options available with render mode. The first option you see here is normal. If you just want to create a template and display it anywhere using shortcode, then use this option. You will find the shortcode and the PHP implementation code to use this template here. There is also a usage area dropdown with this mode. We support theme hooks from some themes, so you can display the template at those hook positions. Next is single post template. It is used when you want to create a template for single post layouts. This can be applied to pages, posts, or any other custom post types. There are some additional configuration options that comes with this render mode. First, you will have to select the post type for which you are creating this template. Then select a preview post. Here you will have to select a post from the above selected post type. Just type some initial part of the title of the post that you want to select. Data from this post will be used to show the preview while editing the template in Elementor Editor. Next here is Auto Apply. Check this if you want this template to be applied to all the posts from the above selected post type. If you don't select it, then you will have to apply this template by selecting the template individually on posts and categories. We have an article that explains multiple ways to assign single post templates to posts. You can find the link in video description. Last one here is Template. This is how your template will appear on front end and in editor. If you select theme default, then it will display the header, footer and sidebars as per theme settings. If you just want the header footer and empty area in between them for designing your layout, then select Elementor header footer. Elementor canvas will give you a completely blank area for editing. Let's move to taxonomy archive template. This is for category, tag and custom taxonomy archives. If you are confused about what is Taxonomy Archive, then just go to Category or in Custom Taxonomy List in WordPress Admin, hover on any term, and click on View. The link that opens up is Taxonomy Archive. Here you can see the collection of all the posts associated with this term. Back to Template Settings. You will have to select the taxonomy for which you are creating the template and select a preview term that belongs to above selected taxonomy. This will be used to display some term-related preview data in Elementor Editor. Post Type Archive Template What exactly is Post Type Archive? This one confused some of the users. When a custom post type is registered, either by code or through some plugin, there is an option to enable archive. This gives a unique URL where all posts from that post type are displayed. Configuration here is pretty simple, you just have to select the desired post type. Block Layout this is used by some of the widgets that renders the post loop. For example, post blocks, post blocks advanced, and woo products. All you have to select here is the preview post. 404 page. This is damn simple. Use it to design the 404 page of your site. Search template. This is to design the search result page. Author archive. Use this to design the author archive template. A page where all the posts belongs to particular author are displayed. Select a preview author from which we will get the data to show you the preview in Elementor Editor. Check Auto Apply to set this template to all authors or select on each author profile individually. Date Archive. It will be applied on year, month, and day archives. And the last one here is ACF Blocks. This is a block layout specifically for ACF repeater and flexible content field. Here you will see some different configuration options. Check our YouTube channel for videos related to ACF flexible content field and repeater field. It is all explained there in detail. That's it. So I hope when the next time you will be adding a new AE template, you won't be confused which render mode to choose. If you have any queries, just drop a comment below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel.